there's a whole range of issues there. Um, clearly, in the IPCC forecast or, or predictions or prognosis, whatever they call them, for the 1.5 degree report, there's a lot of BECs, lots of uh, bioenergy and carbon sequestration in those scenarios, and, and they don't play out unless you got that. There's huge uncertainties about whether that is A, feasible and B, desirable for a number of other reasons. And Grantham Institute has just produced an excellent briefing paper on, on BECs and things. It's not, it's not a quick solution, even if, it, you know, even if the, the storage wasn't a problem. Um, likewise, um, industrial sequestration, you've got to be able to do it at scale. You've got to be able to get all the carbon out of these emissions and put it somewhere. And it's got to stay there forever, forever and ever and ever. So it's not just like doing it this week. Um, so I think there's huge challenges there. Having said that, um, it, it does appear to be the case that we're not going to be able to get to two degrees, certainly not one and a half degrees, without some use of sequestration. So whether you call that geoengineering, I don't know, but um, I think that's going to be needed. Um, solar geoengineering, I'm afraid, I think is um, a fool's paradise. And I, I've been saying the same thing for many years. And I know there's arguments about, oh, well, it's just going to smooth us sort of gently into a future without having the sharp increases now. I think there's a huge moral hazard there. People think of it as, oh, we can just do this and we don't need to do any of the real issues with carbon reductions. Um, apart from all the side effects and all the unintended consequences, and number one, it's not addressing the problem properly because what it's doing is not stopping the trapping of heat radiation, it's stopping the incoming solar radiation. And they happen at different places on the globe. So it's, it's not the same scenario. Maybe energy balance... But it's not the same. Um, who knows what's going to happen to the clouds and the hydrological cycle and all the other things. It's people who've done models and they... Actually, none of the models show the climate getting back to where it was. Many of them show that actually you can control the surface temperature in this way. But you've got you know people with some places with more rain and others with less rain and things. So to play around with the climate system like that, sort of playing God, I think is, is just foolish.